with our leading Heisman Trophy candidate, Tim Brown, Rodney Pete, quarterback in USC, having a fine season. And Steve Webster, the Pac-10 leading rusher, will see what they can do against Notre Dame. So make your plans to join us, USC, against Notre Dame tomorrow night at 8.30 p.m. right here on Prime Ticket. So Aikman has his instructions. It's first and goal for UCLA at the Cal four-yard line. The Bruins already leading 7-0. Danny Thompson in the ball game, going in motion. Gaston Green. So just like that, Gaston Green already has scored two touchdowns, so he has nine on the campaign, 37 in his illustrious career, and it gives UCLA a 13-0 advantage. Alfredo Velasco will try to make it 14-0 with the PAT. Penalty flag is thrown, so we'll have to wait and see who it's against. Penalty flag on the field. Big David Richards, 79, in there getting his two cents in and listening to the officials. It looks like it'll going to be on the on the Bears, the Golden Bears of Cal. The referee in the white hat today is Bill Richardson. Defense. <laughs> So that is the story. The penalty will be assessed on the kickoff. Clock is stopped, showing 2.18 remaining first quarter. UCLA 14, Cal nothing. A little over four minutes for UCLA to travel 72 yards in 10 plays, and Green took it in from the four-yard line, and UCLA leading 14 nothing here in the first quarter with two minutes and 18 seconds remaining. Bruins just looking so strong. The offensive line for the Bruins, especially on the interior line. John Kidder, Frank Cornish, Rick Mayer, and the tackles, David Richard, and Russ Warnick just doing a heck of a job of pushing the Cal defensive line back, creating holes for the running backs, in particular, Gaston Green. West Denton to kick off for UCLA. Tyrone Moore and Darren Greer deep for Cal. Greer will not run this out. Unlike last week, coming off the bye, when we felt UCLA's timing was off, they looked like they've got it all together in the early stages today. So Cal has the football, first and ten, at their own 20-yard line. Michael Smith is sent wide right. Mike Moore wide left. Charles Carter, the lone remaining back behind Troy Taylor. Double tight end set. On play action, it goes to Ford. 45, and he is tackled out of bounds at the 41-yard line. A diving tackle by James Washington of UCLA. A 21-yard pass completion. Taylor to Ford. Mike Ford is out of San Pedro, California, a sophomore, 6'2", 200 pounds. Third on the team in receptions. That was his 15th of the campaign. He has three touchdowns. He averages just under 20 yards of reception. So he's a good one. First down from the 41. Bimson in the slot on the left, out of the eye. And now Bimson goes in motion. Carter. Picks up good yardage to the 47. Ken Norton in on the stop for UCLA. And he was helped out by Allen Dial. That may be the key to the Bruin or to the Bear attack today is to get that ball into your outside receiver's hands as quick as possible and then some quick hitters up the middle. Hopefully we can catch, this is what Snyder's saying, hopefully we can catch the Bruin defense off balance and try and pop a big one. This time they come out with three wide receivers and split backs. Todd Powers and Charles Carter behind Troy Taylor. 
swings it out to Ford. And Jim Waller brings him down from behind at the UCLA 45-yard line. What you're watching, and that was the same play that ran a couple plays ago. It's a quick screen to the uh, split receiver. The quarterback does a quick fake. He drops back and he hits that wide receiver who takes one step down the field, then comes back, and the offensive line will sneak down that line of scrimmage like they would do normally for a fullback or a halfback screen. Get that ball to your outside receiver and let him try and pop it. First and 10, Cal from the Bruin 45-yard line is Cal now on the move for the first time in the ball game. Pimpson in motion, far side. Inside the 35, down to the 32-yard line. Dennis Price in on the tackle for UCLA. Another 13 yards for Cal. Charles Carter, he's a sophomore and a last-minute starter in place of Chris Richards from New Orleans, Louisiana. Well, they wanted to take a look at Carter during warm-ups, and if he looked like he was ready to go, they were going to go ahead and play him in front of Chris Richards, who was with some nagging injuries. As you look at Gaston Green, who's very happy. He's had a good production so far. Ford in motion. Taylor. 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 Now he just takes off, makes a good decision. Watch him get by Ken Norton, 41. Just steps right out of the grass with Norton, turns it back upfield, and then at the last minute gets smart and takes it out of bounds. First down for Cal at the UCLA 12-yard line. 21 seconds left in the first quarter, 14-0 UCLA. But here come the Golden Bears, Bedford in motion. the 11th quarterback sack of the season for Lake in the UCLA faithful London. What can you say about Cardinal Lake? We talk about him almost week after week. An outstanding job by the youngster, the outside linebacker for the Bruins. Coming into today's ball game, 49 tackles and 10 sacks, as you mentioned, Jeter. How he's got his 11th sack on the season, outstanding. I will wrap up the first quarter of play here at the Rose Bowl. Score, UCLA 14, Cal nothing. set now for the second quarter of action in this Pac-10 affair between UCLA and Cal. UCLA leading the Golden Bears 14-0. A couple of touchdown runs by Gaston Green, 179 yards, the other four. And after uh, one quarter, UCLA has four more first downs, 146 to 34 yards in the rushing department, passing just a little bit more, 49 to 32, total yards, 195 to 66, no turnovers in the ball game, and UCLA has had the football quite a bit more than Cal. Cal has it right now as we get ready for the second quarter of play. The ball is on the UCLA 17-yard line, second and 15. Cal, as you saw at the end of the first quarter statistically with 34 yards rushing, that is about normal for them. They're averaging 119.8 yards per game rushing, with just, which is just about uh, 29 point some yards per, per quarter. So they're a little bit ahead of their, their normalcy, but what they're going to do is they're going to throw the ball a lot. They're averaging 232 and a half yards, which is third in the Pac-10. That's their bailiwick. That's how they move the ball. They use the, uh, the run, basically, to offset the pass and try and uh, sneak something by the defenders. Early in the season, Cal had problems producing turnovers, but during the last couple of games, they have come alive in that department with five interceptions and three fumble recoveries, and you have to come up with some turnovers to win football games, especially in the tough Pac-10 conference. Well, you do, Jeff, but another, another very important uh, aspect for Cal is that, number one, they've got a new coach, which means it's a different philosophy, you know, different terminology, whereas UCLA's had the same guy for 12 years as you look at Donahue, but Snyder, he's a new guy in there, and injuries also have hurt the Bears dramatically. Both wide receivers, starting wide receivers, Devers and Delgado, were hurt before they even played one down of football, so they lost them. An offensive guard, Steve Anderson, he's been hampered by a shoulder injury. Brian Bedford, today's starting slot man. Heck, he's been out for a couple of ball games. Okay, Cal breaks the huddle. 
Chris Richards is a tailback, powers it fullback, forward in motion. Chris Richards, and he is hit and dropped immediately. Terry Toomey hit him head on. Terry Toomey, we've talked about him in the past, getting a little more cloudy too, and, and Toomey came in and clouded up that running play too by the Bears. Not a big guy, 230 pounds, playing the nose tackle, but uh, been in on two or three big plays for the Bruins so far in this ball game. Ford wide left, Beckford in the slot on the left side, Smith wide right, split backs, Beckford comes in motion. Taylor running for his life, Waller chasing him, and he is run out of bounds by Melvin Jackson. They're going to spot the ball at the 19-yard line. Troy Taylor, as you look at his jersey, had it just ripped, almost ripped off his shoulder. You can see the seam was just, it's just torn right up the seam of his right jersey there, right jersey sleeve. A good scrambler, not real fleet of foot, but I'll tell you, in an emergency, he can get the job done. I'll bring up a fourth and 15, so the field goal kicker, Robbie Keane, is in there. This will be a 37-yard attempt. Keane has had his problems this year. He has missed five of eight. Out of a hold of Troy Taylor. It's good. So time out on the field. 14 minutes and 14 seconds remaining here in the first half. The score, the UCLA Bruins 14, the California Golden Bears 3. Back after this. The Los Angeles Kings continue their road trip with a stop in New York to take on the Rangers. Ryan Diggett will be on hand to bring you all the exciting action this Wednesday night at 6. 14-3 in favor of UCLA. 14 minutes and 14 seconds remaining first half. As Robbie Keane gets set to kick off for California. This will be an interesting series for UCLA to see if they can maintain control on the ground move the ball up and then down the field and try and come away with some more points or whether they will have to give it back up to the California Golden Bears. Ryan Brown and James Primus deep for UCLA. Primus from his own two-yard line. And he's tripped up at the 15-yard line. Tony Scottini, I believe, came in to make that tackle. Did a heck of a job coming from the outside, circled around behind the wedge, and brought him down. Nice job by Tony Scottini. So first and ten for Cal. Another 34 yards for Gaston Green on 13 carries and a couple of touchdowns. The Bruins have the football, first and ten. That's our own 15-yard line, out of the eye. Paco Craig is wide left. Green gets the handoff and he gets up to the 22-yard line. Brought down by Majette Whiteside and he was helped out by David Ortega. Whiteside came into today's ball game with 44 tackles and one quarterback sack. He's a junior, 6'2", 260 pounds. He's a local product out of Pomona, went to Kanisha High School. That brings up a second and eight for UCLA from their own 17. Green again reverses his field. And he gets to the 20-yard line before he is dropped. Travis Oliver and Ken Harvey combined for Cal. Quarterback Troy Eggman got caught in an unenviable position on that last play where he had to throw a block, and what he really wound up doing was basically getting in the way of Gaston Green. Watching Troy's blocking uh, for him wasn't, uh, wasn't real good. Third and five for the Bruins from their own 20. Green in motion. Over the middle of the field. Corwin Ewing tries to fight for more yardage and he is dropped very close to the first down marker. It will depend on the spot whether or not UCLA gets the first down. And he listed at 215 pounds, but on that last reception, he played much larger than that. Made a nice catch, bounced off one of the defenders, kept his feet. 
A bit of a job by the youngster, only a freshman. First down for the Bruins. Well, 44 yeah. remaining first half. UCLA 14, now three. UCLA, the only undefeated team in the Pac-10. They're in sole possession of first place, 3-0. more first downs for UCLA. Gaston Green gets up to the 28 or 29 yard line. John Hardy, David Ortega, Dwayne Odom all there for Cal. Nice reaction by the Bears as soon as they recognized that Green was trying to get outside on a quick hit. Good flow by the linebackers, good recovery by the defensive lineman. Nice defensive play by the Bears. Second and seven. UCLA has the ball on their own 29-yard line. Second and seven. Anderson wide left. Rolling left is Aikman. Firing for Anderson. Oliver was covering on the play. It looked like Flipper had it momentarily and couldn't quite hold on to the ball. Anderson's going to run an out and up pattern right here. Come down, give a little out fake like he's running a sideline. Now he breaks it up. He's got 21. Travis Oliver beat. The ball is a little short. He comes back nicely and makes a nice catch. He has the ball, but he doesn't have the elbows together. And the ball just kind of slides right down the front of his body to the ground for an incompletion. Willie Anderson out of New Jersey. 11 career touchdowns. He has always been a big play man for UCLA. Brian Brown in motion for the Bruins. The rush is on. And it's going to be over the field. It's going to be over the field. It is at the 36-yard line by Jeff Ebert. They had a blitz on that last play, Cal did, and they sent the linebackers, and when that happens, you've got to play your outside people and your tight end man to man. Hebert had no help on a big tight end. Well, when Anthony, Anthony realized it, recognized the blitz, came back inside on a little look in. Aikman got the ball to him in a hurry. Another UCLA first down. They're at their own 36-yard line, 11-20 left. Ryan Brown. He gets up to the line as well, wow. and that's it. He's dropped by David Ortega. Ortega has great instincts, doesn't he, Jack? He does. He's a good good linebacker, not especially large. 6'2", 225 pounds. There he is, number 40. He slides down the line very nicely, reads extremely well. Good position to make the tackle. Forward lean to his body, comes in and puts a good pop. Nice job by the youngster, David Ortega, the sophomore linebacker. Mike Farr into the ball game for UCLA, second and ten from the 36. Far wide left, Pickard in the slot to the left, and the handoff goes to Gaston Green. And he gets up across the 40-yard line to the 41 or 42-yard line. Tim Harden was in on the stop for Cal, along with Natsu Tuatagaloa. Another fine job, great instincts by Gaston Green. Looked like he was going to bounce that outside, but he made a little step to the left and broke back to the room. College football, nothing like it. It is fun. The Thirty boys out having a good time today. Third and five for UCLA. Aikman with plenty of time, and it's complete to Anderson at midfield, and he's knocked out of bounds by John Hardy. Again, Cal coming with the outside linebacker blitz and sneaking a safety up there. Anderson is in a one-on-one -on -one situation with the left corner, John Hardy. Nothing fancy comes down, a little inside move. Hardy's a little late getting there because of the wide cushion he is allowing Anderson, which he's been instructed to do. Nice route, nice pass, nice catch. First and ten at midfield, Willie Flipper Anderson. Aikman drops straight back to pass. Aikman fires for Cole Anthony, incomplete at the Cal 25-yard line. Jeff Ebert was covering on the play. Dangerous pass by Aikman, almost picked off. He threw into some coverage. Cole Anthony again, the tight end will be releasing from his right. There he is, number 90, going straight down the field. Ortega's in hot pursuit. He lobs that ball over there, but from 26, Jeff Ebert comes in, reads it very well, almost picks it off, and goes after the big tight end, Corwin Anthony. Second Second and ten for midfield for UCLA. Gaston Green. And he's to the Cal 45-yard line. Dwayne Odom was there. 
David Ortega helped him out. Odom is just a freshman. He's 6'3", 230 pounds from San Diego. He attended Mira Mesa High School. One thing that Cal does in particular can't bear the off defensive coordinator. They went on a lot of people defensively. Third and four for UCLA. Aikman has no one to throw to on the sack back at his own 45-yard line. But Jack Whiteside has his second quarterback sack of the season. And he was helped out by Ken Harvey. He wanted it. You can tell him that Jeff wanted that quarterback. Troy Aikman wanted to go to Paco Craig on a little out and curl back under, but had great coverage by the right corner. Travis Oliver would not allow Paco to get free. Barkate, the punter for UCLA. Dwayne Jones is deep for Cal. Barkate shakes his first attempt. Gets a good one off this time. Jones takes it from his own 17-yard line. He is dropped at the 24-yard line. An 8-yard return, a 38-yard punt. Timeout here at the Rose Bowl. 8 minutes and 40 seconds remaining first half. UCLA on top of Cal, 14-3. UCLA leading Cal 14 to 3 in this Pac-10 matchup with 8.40 remaining first half. A 79-yard touchdown scamper by Gaston Green. Green over from four yards out to account for the two UCLA touchdowns. The PAT is good by Velasco. And then a 37-yard field goal by Robbie Keane. And you're up to date. First and 10 from the 25 for Cal. Powers at full, Charles Carter at tailback. Taylor getting rushed. Toomey is after him. Parnell Lake is after him. He throws and it's complete to tight end Gerald Ingram. And Ingram gets all the way out to the 40-yard line. Finally brought down by Eric Turner of UCLA. We got a flag on the play on the far sideline about the 32-yard line. Heck of a job by Darrell Ingram, though, of finding the open seam. That was a receiver downfield against the Bears. Takes away a very big play. So a tough break for Cal, and the penalty will bring it back. Bruce Snyder, in his first year as head coach at Cal, spent the last four years as the running back coach for the Los Angeles Rams. Prior to that, his college head coaching experience was at Utah State. And all of Terry Donahue's head coaching experience right here at Houston. An eligible receiver downfield. Offense. We play the down. It's a big play for UCLA. Let's see if it's actually the quarterback, Troy Taylor, who's offside. He drops back. He feels the pressure. He gets outside. A nice job of getting away from Terry Toomey. Lays that ball to his big tight end, Darrell Ingram. Finds the open seam. Now he starts back across the field. Couldn't see it. Carter, the ball carrier, and he gets very close to the 30-yard line. Marcus Turner made the stop for UCLA. Charles Carter came into the ball game today with 49 yards on 20 carries. Hasn't played a whole lot, but he's in there today. Second and six from the 29 for the California Golden Bears. Split backs and three wideouts. Beckford in motion. Taylor to throw. Rolling right. He has pretty good protection. Now he's getting chased by Glasser. Throws incomplete. Intended for Brian Beckford at the 45-yard line. Eric Turner covering on the play for UCLA. Taylor had Bedford, who was a slot, came in motion, took it up the field. UCLA was in a down in the zone defense. Number two, Michael Ford sneaking across. Wide open, wide open. He's raising his hands. When a guy does that, he's just throwing me the ball. Unfortunately, the quarterback, Troy Taylor, was rolling away from him and never spotted him. How many times when you were playing ball would you come back and tell the quarterback, hey, I was open on that play, and then have him throw you the ball on the next play? Not too often, but I always told him I was open every single time I came back. <laughs> I bet. The third and six for Cal from their own 29-yard line. Over the middle, to the lead to fullback, Todd Powers, a penalty flag is thrown. Absolutely right, Jack Snow. 
Well, watch Norton, number 41. He drops back into his zone. He's in good position. Keeps both those feet moving. Is his contact made? Well, I tell you, that's close. He does pop uh, Todd Powers a little a little prior to the ball, but it's hard that's to see. That's defense from the spot of the attack. There he is, Kim Norton, the senior linebacker. One of the finest all-around athletes on the UCLA squad. So I'll bring up a first and 10 from the 35 for Cal. Seven minutes and 20 seconds left. First half, 14-3 in favor of UCLA. Cal out of the eye. Ford wide left. Michael Smith in motion. And the pitch goes to Carter. And Dennis Price grabs him and throws him down at the 35-yard line. What a great play by the right quarterback of the Bruins, Dennis Price, out of Long Beach, California, a senior. Price watching his man, Michael Smith, go in motion the opposite way as soon as the ball was snapped. Price just came across the line of scrimmage. He had no responsibility. Met the ball carrier. Big play for UCLA. Nice play by Dennis Price. He has been Mr. Consistent on defense all season long. Second and nine from the 36 for Cal. Mike Ford goes in motion. Taylor throws it complete to Ingram, and he gets up to the 45-yard line. Ken Norton made the stop for the Bruins. One thing about Troy Taylor, and you look at big number 88, Daryl Ingram catching his second pass, is Taylor will use all of his receivers that are available, which means he'll use all three outside receivers, both his fullback and tailback. When he has a tight end in there with only two wide receivers, he will use that tight end. So everybody is a threat to catch a ball if you're on the offense for Cal. He's thrown to 13 different receivers this season. Taylor is 4 of 8 for 40 yards. Carter hits a brick wall. It's going to be a close one, Jeff. I think he had to cross the 45-yard line for the first. I'm not so sure if he did it or if he did by how much. First down for Cal. Well, obviously he crossed it by enough. Nice drives by Cal the last two possessions, starting on their own 20, the last possession, and this last time, or this drive, starting on their own 25, keeping the ball to the control of the football, nice short passes, a couple of key runs. Mike Lotus replacing Glasser for UCLA, first and 10 for Cal on their own 46-yard line. pass play, Taylor to Ingram. Well, Taylor, I'll tell you what, he's hitting those receivers, and in particular his tight end, utilizing Daryl Ingram's size, 6'3", and his quickness. He only weighs 225, so he's got exceptional quickness and speed. Ingram able to find the seam on three passes, three routes, and uh, Taylor able to get the ball to him. A big, big catch for the Cal Bears. Ingram averages 13 and a half yards of reception. First and 10 from the Bruin 43-yard line as Cal is on the move again. It goes to Bedford, some razzle dazzle, throwing on for Ford. He's open, knocked away, incomplete. Marcus Turner, one of the defenders for UCLA, back there on the play. It looked like along with uh, number 29, Eric Turner. So the Turner guy is back there. Quick screen to his wide receiver. He's going to set up. Now he's going to come deep to his wide receiver going on a goal route. He hangs the ball up there a little bit too long, allowing the defense of UCLA to come back and almost pick that ball off. So Brian Bedford turned a pass thrower. He's got a good arm. When he was a freshman, he was recruited by Cal as a quarterback, so he can throw the football. Second and 10 for Cal. Carter. And he is brought down by Marcus Patton. Marcus Patton, you'll recall, suffered a concussion versus Fresno State, but he's back, and he made the stop on that last play. Patton hadn't played too much the last few weeks, only coming into today's ball game with just six tackles. He's very strong. He bench presses 386 pounds, third and 10 for Cal at the UCLA 43-yard line. The Bruins leading the Golden Bears 14-3 on the scoreboard with just over four minutes to play here in the first half. Bedford in motion. 
motion. The blitz is on. Chance Johnson can't get to him, and it's complete to Bedford. He breaks a couple of tackles, and he's out of bounds at the UCLA 24-yard line. An 18-yard play for Cal. Why, on his executions of a pass and a route, a pass by the quarterback and a route run by his wide receiver as Troy Taylor and Brian Bedford hook up. 82 is Bedford. He's going to take off with Thompson to the field. Now, the thing that's interesting about Bedford is watch when he makes his plant. Gives the defender the feeling he's going deep. Now, watch him come back to the football. There he is. Goes up high in the air. Plucks it out of the air. Heck of a job by Bedford. Shakes one UCLA Bruin defender and picks up three or four extra yards. First and ten Cal at the Bruin 23-yard line. Great poise shown by quarterback Troy Taylor under pressure. Donald Nobles. And he's out to the 21 or 22-yard line. Terry Toomey made the stop, and he lost his helmet. UCLA coming with a safety blitz on that last play. Number 29, Eric Turner trying to sneak in between the right guard and right, uh, between the right guard and center, but got there just a little bit late as the ball was pitched out and it got around it. Block running, you see it in the lower right-hand corner of your screen. This is the 13th play on this drive for Cal. Second and nine from the Berlin 22-yard line. deflected by Ken Norton. It was intended for Brian Bedford. Darnell Lake, number 31. Again, another one of the Bruins. Smallish but very active linebackers. Bedford's coming from the slot. He's going to run a quick out. Ball thrown right there. 41. Ken Norton gets high in the air. Now watch him go for it. It's almost like a basketball coming off a rebound. Bedford a little bit late and Norton a little bit short. Another fine play turned in by Ken Horton. It's third and nine for Cal. Over the middle, complete to Bedford. And he is brought down by Marcus Turner at the 15-yard line. The one thing that California has, they have excellence. Well, I don't know about Susan. We have, we have to check with Allen on that one. But the one thing that California does have, they have excellent skilled people. The only problem is they're not real deep after the first two, two or three guys go down. But they have some great people of Bedford, naturally being one of them. Outstanding athlete. Came in as a quarterback. who was moved to the outside receiver. So we have an interesting situation. Fourth and one. Taylor is going to talk it over with Bruce Snyder. Time out with 2.46 remaining first half, 14-3 UCLA. You friends, today's game is being brought to you by Great Western's family of companies, over $28 billion in assets. 100 years strong will always be there. And by Avis, who invites you to go in style with a new Cadillac or similar luxury car for only $45 a day. Remember, your other car is an Avis. Two minutes and 46 seconds remaining here in the first half. 14-3 in favor of UCLA. Terry Donahue pacing the sideline. Bruce Snyder trying to get things together to decide what they will do with a fourth and one at the Bruin 14-yard line. Any uh, ideas, Jack? Well, I would presume that they're going to try and maybe do a little play action faking in there or try and bounce it to the outside with their tailback. But you got a good passer in Troy Taylor. you got a heck of a receiver in Brian Bedford. Don't forget Darrell Ingram, the tight end. They've got a double tight end set. Taylor, and it's intercepted by Dennis Price, and he's going to run it back. 10, 15.
feels better about that. Tell the grandkids about that one someday. Alfredo Velasco for the PAT. It's good. at 28 seconds left in the first half and UCLA now leading Cal 21 to 3 and let's take another look as Dennis Price picks it off and sprints down the far sideline he's trying to go to, to uh, Brian Bedford who's wide receiver on and Bedford ran a, an out pattern but Troy Taylor ran a or he actually threw the ball on a post pattern, and that's the reason for the mix-up. Dennis Price was standing there uncovered all alone, punched it out of the air, and rather than keeping it in the end zone and getting on the 20, he said, I can make it all the way down the sideline. He sets sail, gets a couple of good blocks, and winds up 105 yards later in the end zone for a touchdown. Dennis Price now takes over leadership in interception. That's his third of the season. That gives him eight in his UCLA career. Remind you that Wednesday night, Prime Ticket debuts Ski Sing, a guide to skiing throughout the West. We'll look at the latest equipment, resort information, tips on technique, and more. That's Ski Sing this Wednesday night at 5:30 only on Prime Ticket. So it's 21 to 3 in favor of UCLA. Cal had held the football for six minutes. end up with nothing. Well, that's disappointing, too, because the, the Bears starting on their own 25, moving it down the field like they did, and winding up on the minus side of a scoring. It's just unbelievable. They're going to be really down and have to come back. Now does Snyder second guess and say, hey, we should have kicked the field goal? No, nah, I think what happened, he's going to check between his quarterback and receiver and find out who screwed up because one of them did the wrong thing, either threw the wrong route or ran the wrong pattern. Wes Denton will kick off for UCLA. Tyrone Moore and Darren Greer deep for Cal. Greer from his own one-yard line, and he's dangerous. He gets out to the 26-yard line. He's tackled there by Marcus Turner of UCLA. Dennis Price holding up the index finger of his right hand. He's a happy young man. He's going to put his hand down and go back to work again because they're back on defense now. Get out there, Dennis. Michael Smith is sent wide right. Mike Ford wide left. Bedford in the slot to the left. Out of the eye. Play action. Taylor getting pressure. And he goes down. Jim Waller was back there. Well, Carnell Lake may have also been in there to help Jim Waller. Waller playing an outstanding game so far today. Been in on about three or four near sacks of the quarterback. But Troy Taylor just able to sneak away from uh, big number 66, Jim Waller. Roman Pfeiffer was also in on that last play for UCLA. Under two minutes to play, first half, 21-3 in favor of UCLA. Mike Ford is the, the pass, and he gets good yardage, a first down for Cal. See where they spot it. The 39-yard line. This is going to be a split-end screen. You take a couple of steps downfield like Michael Ford does, come back behind the line of scrimmage. Now watch some of the good blocking. He gets 48, comes in there, gets a good block, knocks the defender down. Michael Ford takes it down the field, picks up another first down. That play good for 18 yards. Ford out of San Pedro, California. First and 10 from the 40-yard line. Play action. Taylor looking for Ingram. UCLA. Taylor spots that immediately. He's splitting the zone. Gets that ball to him. Nice fingertip catch. Now he's off to the races. He's got good position. Looks like he may score. Finally one of the Bruins comes in there and drags him down. Just dog 
Belt rides him down. Again, another look. He's running a seam pattern down the middle. Taylor, a good job of laying the ball. Nice catch in his hands by Daryl Ingram. Takes it off down the field. 29 comes over. That's Eric Turner to keep a touchdown. Keep him going in for the score. Great college football action coming your way next weekend here on Prime Ticket. On Saturday, October 31st, we've got an exciting football doubleheader for Halloween at 7 p.m. The University of Nevada Las Vegas Rebels battle the Fresno State Bulldogs. And at 10.30, it's the San Diego State Aztecs against the Hawaii Rainbows. Then on Sunday, November 1st at 5 p.m., it's UCLA and the Arizona State Sun Devils from Tempe, Arizona. For the best in college football, keep it right where it's at. The Prime Ticket Network. One minute and 12 seconds remaining first half. UCLA leading Cal 21 to 3. However, Cal has the football first and goal from the UCLA two-yard line. Take away that interception to return for a touchdown as you look at the future of the cheerleaders there. Was not real happy about being out here. It's a little cold for him. If you take away that touchdown interception by UCLA, the score is 14 to 3. Cal could have come away with the touchdown or even a field goal. And now look where they are. It'd be a much different ball game at this juncture. Double tight end set. Ingram on the right, Tony Rogers on the left. Carter. He did not get in. Ken Norton, among others, in on the stop for UCLA. Clock is running, as you see. Terry Donahue holding to his uh, defense is up to the test, and Snyder hoping they can get a touchdown, make it closer as they go in at halftime. Down for California. Charles Carter scores. So a one yard touchdown for Charles Carter, the sophomore. That closes UCLA's lead. Right after the gun, Carter gets the ball. He misses one Bruin in the backfield, goes in behind his right guard, Tony Smith, in for the touchdown for the California Bears. Bobby Keene, number 10, to attempt the PAT. This is the first week that Troy Taylor has been his holder. It's up. Good. So with 34 seconds remaining until halftime, UCLA now leads the California Golden Bears 21 to 10. And that's a very big seven points for Cal. It is. It really is. And uh, it puts it back in this ball game. They're not in the position that they would like to have been. But I'll tell you what, as you look at the scoring drive, five plays, 74 yards, almost two minutes, a minute and 54 seconds. Carter on a one-yard run, a nice drive, nice ball handling, nice passing, execution. The whole ball of wax by the California Bears. ball to UCLA. UCLA leading this series 38-18-1, and, and they have won 15 straight games. UCLA has got to be aware of an onside kick right here. Cal's got a couple of timeouts left, one timeout left, and if they get an onside kick, they could get down in, in reasonably good position and attempt a field goal. with James Primus deep. Primus's average is 22 yards a return. Brown, 21 yards a return. It's on the ground. And UCLA has problems holding on to the ball, and they fall on it. Estwick fell on the ball for UCLA. And they have it first and 10 at their own 26-yard line with 32 seconds remaining in the first half. 
So UCLA has two timeouts left. There's 32 seconds. They may try and go for a big play here or just be content to just run the clock out. Belfar at fullback, Gaston Green at tailback. Craig wide right, Anderson wide left. They give it to Gaston Green. And he picks up a couple of yards. And he is dropped by Steve Hendrickson. They're going to let it run out, Jeff. They're just going to let that clock run down and go into a halftime with an 11-point lead. the remaining two seconds run off the clock and that'll be the end of the first half as UCLA and Cal head for the locker room with our score UCLA 21 Cal 10 we'll be back with our halftime activities in just a moment We're at halftime here at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. UCLA leading Cal 21 to 10. UCLA got off like a house of fire, led at one point 14 to nothing. Then Cal got back into the football game. Jack, anything uh, surprise you in the first half? Yeah, Jeff, I'm a little surprised at how well Cal is doing in their short passing game. They're able to throw the ball very well into the secondary of UCLA and has made some big plays for them, although it has cost them one play dearly. Let's take a look at the highlights of the first half. It started with UCLA. UCLA's Gaston Green as he goes 79 yards for their first TD. Gaston Green again, the Heisman Trophy candidate, starts out to his right, pops it back inside behind great blocking from his offensive line, takes it 79 yards for the touchdown, putting UCLA up 7-0. We come back later on in the first quarter, a four-yard run by Green, another excellent job by the offensive line, blowing the Cal defensive line back into the end zone. Cal finally gets on the scoreboard here on a 37-yard field goal by Robbie Keane, cutting the score to UCLA 14, Cal 3. And now here's a big one for the Bruins. Taylor back the pass, misfires with his wide receiver Bedford. Dennis Price steps in front, takes the ball five yards deep in the end zone, heads down the east sideline, and he's on his way for a 100-yard touchdown interception. Blue Charter, outstanding job by Dennis Price. Now the score, UCLA 21, Cal 3. Come back with a one-yard run by Charles Carter late in the second quarter. The key play, a 58-yard pass, Taylor to Dell Ingram, the tight end. UCLA 21-10, and the stats at halftime. They're even in the first down department. Rushing yards, 157 to 42 in favor of UCLA, but passing Cal has 146 to just 70 for Troy Aikman. Total yards, 227 to 188. Cal with one turnover, and you see the time of possession, 16-24 for UCLA, 13-36 for Cal. One thing that worked extremely well for Cal when they'd have those quick tight passes from Taylor to people out of the backfield, or he'd go to Ford in the flat. Well, you think we'll see more of that in the second half? I think so. I think you hit the nail on the head. They're going to take, they being Cal, they're going to take what's given to them. If they have the short pass, they're going to get the ball to their outside people because they're very quick, but don't expect them to stay away from Ingram, the big tight end, because he's been a key guy in his first half and could likely prove to be the difference in the ballgame in the second. Okay, we'll have the second half kickoff for you right after these messages. It's half UCLA leading Cal 21 to 10. is your game and you want to know about the latest happenings inside this popular game prime ticket has it all for you in the golf show tips interviews the best courses to play what's happening on the pro and amateur circuits comes to life each week on this fresh new series join us for the action on the links it's the golf show see it each week right here on prime ticket UCLA with an 11 point advantage over California 21 to 10 as we get set for the second half kickoff UCLA will be kicking off and defending the southern goal to our right 
And Cal will be receiving and defending the northern goal to our left. UCLA's defense not doing the job today thus far that they have been doing coming into the Cal game. Well, Cal's been very explosive, especially in their short passing game, and that's going to be the key to their success this second half. Velasco kicking off for UCLA. Tyrone Moore picks it up. And he's knocked out of bounds at the 33-yard line. Eric Turner and Marcus Turner were in on the play for UCLA. Got a bat, uh, a Cal Bear down on the uh, far sideline. Looks like about the 30-yard line. He may have had the wind knocked out of him. This will be an important drive, Jeff, for the California Golden Bears. They want to get something going here now. They came back in fine fashion at the end of the first half, put some points on the board, other than the interception return for a touchdown. Played very well against a good UCLA defense. Let's see if their offense can take this ball now and move it. Dwayne Odom, number 95, was the Cal player shaken up, but he's uh, coming off the field under his own ground. Four Cal starting the second half. Number 28, Chris Richards. He did not start the game, but he will start at halfback in the final 30 minutes of activity. Todd Powers, the fullback. Troy Taylor at quarterback. Ford wide left. Smith in the slot left side. And Smith now comes in motion. Chris Richards. And he is brought down as he crosses the 35 yard line by Jim Waller. Chris Richards looking very explosive on his very first carry this uh, second half. Comes in off the bench, wants to get going, wants to get that ball in his hands and see what he can do with it. Jim Waller, junior out of San Jose. He wants to be a doctor someday. He's a psychology major. Second and seven for Cal. Ball is at their own 36-yard line. Taylor has very good protection, and he throws complete to Powers. And he breaks a couple of tackles. He's still on his feet. 35 30. Caught from behind by Daryl Henley at the UCLA 11 yard line. 53 yards for Todd Powers, the pride of Youngstown, Ohio. Todd Powers, number 48, coming out of the fullback slot. He's going to hide the lay inside, release late to the left. Wide open, nobody around, and the linebackers have a deep drop. He gets by Daryl Henley once, and he also gets by 27, Alan Dial. Gets through a mishmash. Now, Watson kind of run out of gas a little bit right here. He's never run this far in his life. He's just trying to get to the sidelines. And number two, Daryl Henley comes back and does make the tackle. The junior fullback out of Youngstown, Ohio, 6'2", 230-pounder. His longest run prior to that this season, 13 yards. First and 10, Chris Richards. And he is down at the seven or eight yard line. Doug Klein made the tackle for UCLA. Klein out of Arvada, Colorado, 6'2", 244 pound junior. And Richards will come off to the side now. Started the season with three games of 100 yards or more and then hurt his ankle. Second and six from the seven for Cal. 13-34 left, third quarter. 21-10 in favor of UCLA. Taylor to throw. Getting rushed. Fires incomplete. Glasser and Elliott in pursuit of Taylor, putting him uh, under great pressure, and he fired out of bounds. You're right. Glasser in hot pursuit. He wanted to get a hold of that quarterback. 10 of 18 for 217 yards. He wanted Troy Taylor. It was interesting. You look at Troy Taylor, the next time you see him on camera, visualize him in a gold helmet and tell me who he looks like. If he doesn't look like Troy, Aikman, I'll buy a new pair of shoes, Jeff. Third and six on the UCLA seven-yard line. Taylor rolling left. Still has time. Got him open. Irons for the end zone. Touchdown. Michael Smith somehow able to get one foot in bounds. A seven-yard touchdown strike. Taylor to Michael Smith. A great job of two people. They look at number 83, Michael. Smith, who never broke his rod, and when he 
his quarterback started scrambling back to the near side. He went back with his route. Troy Taylor rolling out to his left to get some good blocking. Can't find a receiver. Now he's going back against the green. Now he's still looking downfield. All the meanwhile, Michael Smith working his way open in the end zone. Watch that right foot come down just inside the chalk line. His left foot there it is. Touchdown. Great catch and a great job of going where you are. They're going to go for the two-point conversion. Ford in motion. Taylor to throw. And it's good. three-point lead all of a sudden over Cal, 21 to 18. So the Bears didn't take long. A minute 45, five plays. They traveled 67 yards. And then Taylor getting Michael Smith in the back of the end zone, seven yards and the touchdown. In the last 10 minutes, Cal's offense has had the ball for 25 of 27 plays. And as we talked about at half, coming back with those short passes to the backs coming out of the backfield and letting them run after the catch, that'll put them back in this ball game. Robbie Keane set to kick off for Cal. Brian Brown, James Primus deep for UCLA. Primus a yard deep in the end zone. He's going to run it back. And he gets it out to the 20-yard line. UCLA fans here at the Rose Bowl applauding as the offense takes the field, trying to motivate. UCLA knows that they've got a game on their hands now. And again, we go back in the pregame. We talked about the task at hand. Here it is for the Bruins. Aikman sends Craig wide left. Anderson wide right. Gaston Green. And Green gets uh, three or four yards. Not to Tua Tagaloa, Joe Nelms in on the stop for Cal. Tua Tagaloa is a little, uh, a little slow getting up. It looks like that left ankle made it. Tua Tagaloa is a little slow getting up. It looks like that left ankle made it. Tua Tagaloa is a little slow getting up. It looks like that left ankle made it. Tua Tagaloa is a little slow getting up. It looks like that left ankle made it. Tua Tagaloa is a little slow getting up. down by Jeff Ebert, and Ebert is taken up 18 yards for Gaston Green. In the first half, he had the ball 19 times for 154 yards and a couple of touchdowns. First and 10 at Bruins on their own 42-yard line. A little over 12 minutes to play, third quarter, three-point lead for the Bruins. Green has the ball again. David Ortega made the tackle for Cal. Just a great job of running by Gaston Green. Picks his holes very well. Starts in, bounces back outside. He gets by Ken Harvey, 49. Harvey cannot shed his block. Green turns it upfield. Joe Pickard doing a fine job on Ken Harvey, allowing Gaston Green to pick up additional yardage. First and 10 from the Cal, 41 for UCLA. Out of the eye. And falls at the 47 yard line. He had that problem last week a couple of times dropping back. He just kind of lost his footing and went down. Let's see if his feet can tangle up at all with any of his teammates at his drop back. It looks like he just goes down. He kind of stumbles coming away from the center. He may have gotten tied up a little bit with Frank Cornish, the offensive center. That time, I don't think it was the turf that was the problem. Second and 15 for UCLA. Aikman audibilizing from the Cal 46-yard line. There's a fumble and Aikman alertly dived on the ball. Oh, 
might have been a big play for California if they were able to fall on that and recover that fumble in that position on about the 50-yard line. It was just lying on the Rose Bowl turf. Aikman able to dive on top of it. So UCLA retains possession, but it brings up a third and 15. Paco Craig, wide left. steak sandwich, chop steak on the inside, crispy on the outside. Now, down home cooking is down at Carl's Jr. UCLA 28, Cal 18, 10 minutes and 21 seconds remaining here in the third quarter at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. I'm Jeff Witcher along with Jack Snow. Hope you're enjoying this exciting Pac-10 affair. Alfredo Velasco set the kickoff for UCLA. Tyrone Moore and Darren Greer, the deep men for Cal. Dwayne Odom, an up man, taking the ball, and he gets out to the 33-yard line. Ryan Lockwood in on the stop for UCLA on the Bruins' last scoring drive. It took a half dozen plays to travel 80 yards, 2 minutes, 54 seconds, and then Aikman to a wide open Paco Craig, good for 46 yards and a TD. Michael Smith, wide right. Mike Ford, wide left. Out of the eye, and now Ford comes in motion. Taylor on. Play action. Ford makes a nice catch and he goes down at the Bruin 48 yard line and he too was wide open to bring that slot man in motion to where he winds up on the far side on a double receiver set side We're taking the outside receiver running him on a go route to clear it out and bring that motion man on a corner and wide open three times in the ballgame so far again a big catch by Michael Ford 19 yards for Ford on that reception his long this year a 79 yarder first and 10 from the Bruin 48 Chris Richards gets the handoff and gets a yard maybe two Kim Norton, the first Bruin to hit him. Terry Toomey also in on that tackle. So with that last uh, touchdown pass thrown by Taylor, he joined some pretty good uh, quarterbacks of the past, Barkowski, Joe Roth, and Rich Campbell. Some heavyweights, Barkowski with the Atlanta Falcons. Second and eight. Quick screen to his wide receiver, and you know Henley's not stupid. He's a smart guy. He just realized the set. He saw what the wide receiver Ford was doing. Watch him again now. Number two, he'll start off down the field, come back, 
get behind the line of scrimmage. Now, in the meantime, Haley is saying, hey, enough is enough. I'm going to come in here and wrap me up and give me a free one, and that's exactly what he does. Nice heads-up play, way to read the offensive set by number two, Dell Henley. Third and 11 from the 49-yard line of UCLA. He's only had a half a sack coming into the ball game, and as you watch 41, he's coming in on a mission on this particular play, forcing Troy Taylor to the far sideline, zeroes in, gets that head in good position, wraps him up, takes him down. Kenny Norton. Scott Tabor had to do the punting. He drops the ball. He has time. He kept his head, gets it off. Henley calls for the fair catch and makes it at his own 23-yard line. A 39-yard punt by Scott Tabor. We've got a timeout with 48 left. Third quarter, UCLA leading Cal, 28-18. UCLA leading by 10 over Cal. First and 10 from their own 23-yard line. Out of the eye, far at fullback, green at tailback. Aikman on the option, keeps it, and gets up to the 26-yard line. Primus getting a little equipment adjustment there on the sideline. His hip pads seem to be broken. What they'll do is they'll just run a strap through there and try to look a little bit. I think it's his thigh pad. That's what it is. He may have broken his thigh pad. 7.25, third quarter, Aikman, 7 of 11 passing for 116 yards and one TD. That gives him nine on the year, but remarkably, he's been picked off just once. And there's another completion to Mike Farr, and he gets tackled at the 31-yard line by John Hardy, left cornerback of the Golden Bears. He's a sophomore, 6 feet tall, 170 pounds. And he didn't have a far to come because he lived. Quick hitch pass. Bruins doing uh, some of the things that uh, Cal had done in the first half. Third and two. Danny Thompson in motion. Gaston Green. And he's got the first down. He's up to the 35-yard line. Tackle made by Cal Harvey. Like that third down and two, and that back picks up three or four yards more than necessary for the first down. That means your offensive line, in this case, the Bruins, the tackles, David Richards and Russ Warnick, the guards, Kidder and Meyer, and the center, Frank Cornish, doing a heck of a job. Marco Craig, wide left, Willie Anderson in the slot to the left, and rolling left is Aikman. Got plenty of time, and he fires, and it's complete to Anderson. Anderson is tackled by Travis Oliver at the 47-yard line. 13 yards on that play. Oliver out of New Orleans, Louisiana, 6 feet tall, 175, a sophomore. You saw Aikman right there talking to Willie Anderson, and what he was telling him was, hey, I'm sorry I didn't get the ball to you sooner. Anderson was open much quicker. Aikman knew it should have gotten the ball to him quicker, but he didn't. Still a big play first down for UCLA. First down from their own 47-yard line. Play action. Aikman gets away from Harvey, and then he fires low, incomplete, intended for Paco Craig at the 37-yard line of Cal. Jeff Ebert was covering on the play. Ebert out of Camarillo, California. Ken Harvey coming from his outside linebacker position gets blown by the quarterback right good block by Mel Farr right there. Farr just comes in to get a piece of him, knock him away. Now watch 49 continue. Ken Harvey's going to stay after him. Well, we don't see it, but he did. Believe me, Ken Harvey, senior linebacker out of Austin, Texas. He's strong, 455 pound of bench press. Second and 10 for the Bruins. Aikman is blindsided, and down he goes at the 40 yard line by that man, Majette Whiteside. UCLA trying to use that quick screen out to the far side, but Majet Whiteside coming in, number 77, plays a nose tackle, blows right by the center, Frank Cornish, and the guard, Rick Mayer, gets right on the back of Troy Aikman and takes him down. Aikman was really, I tell you, when that happens, a quarterback is scared because you don't expect to hit, and all of a sudden, as you look at Agent Whitside, you realize, hey, somebody's here who's not supposed to be, and I bet it scared Aikman quite a bit. Third and 15, out of the shotgun. 
Hoffman's got all kinds of room to run, so he does. 45, he's out of bounds at the 40-yard line. 22-yard pickup for Troy Aikman. It's a play by Aikman, not a design play, an actual on the job that he took the downfield, but when he doesn't find his receiver, real quick, he says, a heck of it, heck of it, there's enough room for me to run, and that's exactly what he does. He hasn't had a deal of success running this season. Coming in, he had carried the ball 47 times for a minus 55 yards, but that 22-yard pickup will help his average quite a bit. Ortega comes out of the ball game. Green has it. And he is tackled at the 37-yard line by Ken Harvey. Harvey's all over the place. He's got a 38-inch vertical leap. He runs the 40 in 4.57 seconds. He's a good one. So is Gaston Green, number one in the pack, number 13 in the nation in rushing. Second and nine for UCLA at the Cal 38-yard line. A little over four minutes to play third quarter. Ten-point lead for UCLA. And Green gets the pitch. Gets up to the 32-yard line. Darren Greer was going to stop. coming down the line of scrimmage, pitching back to the tailback. Another great block by Mel Farr on Daryl Stahl. Stahl would have been a while. Gaston Green has picked up three or four additional yards. Gaston Green has his first 200-yard game of 1987. He's picked up 202 yards on 25 carries. Big third and three for the Bruins at the Cal 32-yard line. Out of the shotgun. The blitz is on, and the pass is short, incomplete, at the 20-yard line, intended for Willie Anderson, John Hardy covering for the Bears. He had the inside safety, Daryl Stallworth, and it looked as if it was Jeff Ebert coming on the safety blitz. Aikman read it, but just could not get the ball out there to his wide receiver, Willie Anderson, and that makes Terry Donahue a little unhappy. It happened a couple of times last week. The quarterback's got to stand in there with that pressure, but he has got to get that ball to his wide receiver, particularly when he's open, and Anderson was open. Alfredo Velasco is 12 for 15 field goal-wise. This will be a 49-yard attempt. He hit one from that distance earlier this season. This one is way short. No good. And we have a California player shaken up. But yet right side, but he gets up, he's okay. 3.38 remaining, third quarter. UCLA holding on to a 28-18 lead. A dark cloudy day here in Southern California. A big Pac-10 ball game and UCLA leading Cal 28 to 18. Cal has a football first and 10 at their own 32-yard line. Donald Nobles, the long remaining back, three wideouts. Ryan Bedford in motion. Over the middle intended for Ingram and it's almost intercepted by Chance hitting the turf. Daryl Ingram showing exceptional ability to catch a ball in the hands. Oh, let's see if he catches the ball in his hands. He'll be coming from the left part of the screen, right towards the middle. There's the pass. Looks like it's right on the numbers. you got to make that catch. Chance Johnson comes in there, has it for a moment, but he can't control it. Slides down his body to the grass. Incompletion. Gaston Green, his third 200-yard game in his UCLA career. Richards heavily flagged down as Richards gets up to the 37, 38 yard line. Marcus Patton in on the play, along with Allen Dial. Let's see who the penalty goes against. It may go against Cal. A holding call against the Golden Bears. Troy Taylor, if you're wondering, is 13 of 22 passing. 240 yards and one touchdown. Cal always has great quarterbacks, as we saw in the one graphic with Bartkowski and, and uh, Joe Roth and people of that. But I'll tell you what, uh, Greg Morton was an outstanding quarterback, too. Holding offense, replay second down. But on 
the ground. It's been all UCLA. And 2.02 of the 2.19 by one man, Green, 37 for Cal. Second and 20 for Cal. At the last one to the line. A little over three minutes to play. Third quarter, 28-18 in favor of UCLA. Out of the eye. Todd Powers. And he powers his way up to the 30-yard line. Jeff Lasser in on the stop for UCLA. Jim Waller helped him out. It's a hard eight yards, too, picked up by Todd Powers, hitting in there off the right guard, just powering his way up the field for eight very tough yards. Donald Noble's in at fullback, replacing Powers, who goes to the sideline. Bedford in motion, far side. Taylor getting rushed by Terry Tucker. Maybe Terry Toomey's first sack of the year, playing from the nose guard position, gets a great rush on the quarterback and takes what well, rather puts UCLA in a great position. Toomey, number 40, not a big nose guard, only 230 pounder, but doing a heck of a job. Fourth sack for UCLA in the ball game. Scott Tabor in to do the punting. It's up to the 38-yard line. Steve Hendrickson, among others, in on the stop of 56-yard punt from Tabor, a 13-yard return for Darrell Henley. And the Bruins have it first and 10 at the 29-yard line. Don't forget, more great college football action coming your way here on Prime Ticket. The Rebels of UNLV against Fresno State, Saturday, October 31st at 7 p.m. At 10.30, it'll be San Diego State versus Hawaii. October 31st, UCLA has it. Aikman gives to Gaston Green. And Green gets up to the 44-yard line. is ticking away. Second and five for the Bruins. Marco Craig wide left. Mike Moore in the slot to the left. Out of the eye formation. Aikman fires complete to Marco Craig. Now the Cal 39-yard line. Travis Oliver, Jeff Eber, David Ortega all in on the stop for Cal. Paco Craig running a curl in around. He leaves the linebacker, slides inside, keeps moving until he sees the ball being thrown, picks up, picks up 19 yards. Again, Cal playing a little soft. Paco Craig, the senior flanker, Riverside, California. Not a real big guy, but very quick and behind the scenes. First and 10 for UCLA. Play action, getting rushed. Aikman flips it off complete to Mel Ball. Watching him roll out to his right. Barr is primarily a blocker in this particular play. Aikman is getting pressure and he's going down. It looks like Joel Dixon has him. He's dragging him down, but he maintains his composure. Quick set ball out there to 22. Mel Farr. Now watch him. He gets by one, two, three Golden Bears before he finally goes down. A heck of a job. A smart play by Troy Aikman. Heads up football. Another Bruin first down at the Cal 15 yard line. Aikman rolling left, getting left. Fires. Secondary coverage allowing far to break wide open on a square out pattern. 
Baker stays with him, gets the ball to him, he takes it into the 15 yard touchdown pass. Alfredo Velasco will attempt the PAC. Hold everything, we've got whistles on the field. Set the 25 second clock. And Velasco, what do you do? Try to be a It's good. The clock is stopped here at the Rose Bowl. 20 seconds remaining here in the third quarter, and UCLA now leading Cal 35 to 18. Ladies and gentlemen, at 8.30, Prime Ticket presents one of college football's greatest rivalry. That's right, USC goes to South Bend to take on the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. That should be a great ball game, so make your plans to be with us. USC, Notre Dame, tomorrow night, 8.30 p.m., right here on the Prime Ticket Network. So the Bruins did it in one minute, 26 seconds. It took just four plays to travel 61 yards. Aikman finding Mike Farr for the 15-yard scoring strike. Aikman rolling out to his left, short rollout. He's going to look into that secondary. There's confusion in the Cal secondary. He finds Farr all alone. Somebody has definitely missed an assignment there. There's no question of that. It may have been Travis Oliver, the quarterback. Tyrell Moore goes out of bounds, and tempers are flaring down. Moore has to be pulled away. He got upset because one of the Bruins tried to strip the football loose. Kelton Alexander got a hand inside that face pass. It looked like as Moore comes back. Looks like he may have gotten his space or his eyes scratched a little bit. Mike Farr, who scored the touchdown a moment ago. Look his papa, who's proud of his two sons. You bet. I would imagine so. A couple of great athletes, a couple of great individuals. Of course, they've got a great role model, too, and their father, an outstanding football player as well as an individual. Terry Donahue, you'd never know by his facial expression that his team is up 35-18. Gal has it, first and ten. Mike Ford in motion. yard line. Dennis Price made the tackle for UCLA. UCLA doing a smart thing on that last play as this third quarter comes to them, and we'll get back to it in the fourth. So that is the end of the third quarter with the score. UCLA 35, Cal 18. We'll be back with the final 15 minutes of this one in just a moment. Toyota quality and get a truckload of free options. Chrome bumpers, free. Style steel wheels, free. Sports striping, free. Full carpeting, cloth bench seats, all free. $630 worth of free options on Toyota limited edition 4x4s. Priceless Toyota quality and free options. Now who's looking out for number one? Toyota. Who could ask for anything more? Oh, your Cadillac is in space 10, Mr. Hall. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Cadillac? We're in business six months and you're renting Cadillac? Avis. $45 a day. Avis. We got a red hot car. We got a red hot car. for $45 a day. Now Avis tries harder with roving rapid return, the new car side return that takes just seconds. Avis The statistical picture through three quarters, UCLA has six more first downs. 
224 rushing yards to just 30 for Cal. Passing, 242 for Cal. 190 for UCLA. Total yards, 414 to 272. Cal with one turnover. And the time of possession, pretty close. Pretty close, yeah. Interesting, been a relatively clean game. Only one turnover between both of these teams. And for considering how much they put the ball in the air, it's, it's uh, been a very good ball game. Few penalties and uh, just one turnover. Taylor is at 14 of 23 passes. One touchdown and he has one interception. Out of the eye. Charles Carter. And he gets up to the 34-yard line. Tackle made by Allen Dial. Dial. We don't mention his name as much as all oh, the Carnell Lakes and uh, the Kenny Nortons, but Dial gets the job done in a quiet way week after week for UCLA. Well, Dial's had a difficult job. He came in this year having to replace Craig Rutledge, and Rutledge was an all-everything for UCLA in that secondary. Dial's done a very good, consistent job for the Bruins this year. Bedford in motion on a third and four from the 34. Bedford. Taylor fires complete to Bedford, and Henry stops him immediately. 37-yard line. UCLA defensively doing an interesting concept. They're having an interesting concept. They're rolling their defensive backs after playing in a zone defense, and they're going to take that short pass away from Cal. They're going to take it away from Troy Taylor. Maybe the time now to put Bedford in motion, get him over that strong side where you have two or three wide receivers and run him on a fly pattern straight down the field. He may just bust wide open. Too close to call as far as the first down, so the chain game comes out. I think he's got it. You're right. First down, Cal. Charles Carter, Todd Powers out of the ball game, replacing Rob Kempson and Donald Nobles. UCLA 35, Cal 18. A little over 14 minutes to play in this football game. First and 10 from the 38 for the California Golden Bears. Taylor fires, and it's complete at the 48-yard line. The tight end, Daryl Ingram. In fact, they mark it at the 49, 11 yards on the pickup. Nice bit of ball handling by Troy Taylor, faking as everybody's coming to the south side or the near side here, hiding that ball on his hip, rolling out, and finding Ingram, who found the seam, slipped into the seam, got the ball from Troy Taylor. Ingram, another local product out of Valencia, California. He attended Hart High School. He's a junior, 6'3", 225. First and 10, Cal from their own 49-yard line. Look in, but it's incomplete. Intended for Brian Bedford. And Bedford turned around completely looking at the quarterback, and he's backing up into the defensive back, and he heard some footsteps. He knew somebody was there. Just did not concentrate totally on that uh, reception. Smith, Powers, and Carter into the ball game. Ingram, Nobles, and Bimson out for Cal. 13-28 left in the game. 35-18 in favor of UCLA. They're in sole possession of first place in the Pac-10, 3-0, trying to make it 4-0. Taylor rolling left, fires complete to Todd Powers. He's into UCLA territory down at the 44-yard line. The tackle made by Chance Johnson of the Bruins. Chance, he's tough. From Compton, California. Doc Powers, a junior fullback from Youngstown, Ohio, moves pretty good for 230 pounder, has good foot speed, good quickness, a good blocker, and an excellent receiver coming out of the backfield. That's right. Coming in, he had seven catches, so he adds to that total. I think he needs to work on his neck, though. His neck's not big enough. <laughs> Third and three from the Bruin 44 for Cal. And it was deflected and complete. Two deflections so far for UCLA, and I believe it may have been Terry Toomey getting a hand up and knocking that ball down. Let's see if we can get a shot. Toomey will be number 40. Taylor, no, that's uh, Melvin Jackson, that's number right. 59. 59, not Toomey, the nose tackle. It was 59, Melvin Jackson, 6'3 and a half, just tall enough to get a hand up and knock it down. Henley D for UCLA. Scott Tabor out of the ball game to punt for Cal.
Faber gets it away. Fair catch called for and made by Henley at his own 11-yard line. A 33-yard punt by Tabor. No return as Bruce Snyder tries to keep it alive for Cal. 12 remaining in the football game. 35-18 in favor of UCLA. UCLA football is being brought to you by Great Western's family of companies. Over $28 billion in assets. 100 years strong. We'll always be there. And by Avis, who invites you to go in style with a new Cadillac or a similar luxury car for only $45 a day. Remember, your other car is an Avis. 12 minutes and 33 seconds left in this football game. UCLA 35, Cal 18. UCLA came in having won 15 straight from the Golden Bears. They haven't lost since 1971. The eye, far and pullback, green at tailback. There was some movement, and Aikman went down. A good job between Frank Cornish and Troy Aikman. As soon as the Bears jumped offside, Cornish snapped that ball to Aikman. He took a knee so he wouldn't get hurt. Penalty flags dropped, the whistle blew. Let's see if it's against Cal. Good ball encroachment defense. We had to give five yards to Frank Cornish on that play, give him a plus five. An outstanding job by the center. So you heard the call from referee Bill Richardson. Following up a first and five for the Bruins at their own 16-yard line. Green in motion out of the backfield. And he can't catch that ball. Fired to him from Aikman. That's an interesting play by Cal because they wound up covering number 49. Ken Harvey had to play Gaston Green man-to-man. -man. That may come back later on in this fourth quarter. That seems to be a big play for the Bruins if that happens again. Anytime you get a halfback one-on-one -on -one with a linebacker, you should be able to beat him. But it looks like the pass thrown by Troy Aikman is just a little bit wide to the right of Gaston. That's not characteristic of Aikman. He is extremely accurate. Gaston Green, and he is caught at the 24-yard line. The man Ken Harvey again. Boy, he saved another long gainer by Gaston Green, slicing in there from his outside backer position to take him down to the shoe tops. First down for UCLA. A little over 12 minutes to play in the game. 35-18 in favor of the Bruins. Jeff Ebert in on the stop for Cal. 23-yard pickup for UCLA. Well-designed play. Aikman going away, rolling to his left. Paco Craig lines up on the right side, does a lazy square out, deep square out. Troy Aikman comes back, throws the ball across the field. A dangerous pass, but in this situation, proved to be successful. First and 10 at their own 46-yard line. Aikman audibilizes. by Troy Aikman. They're going to run the option. A little fake to your fullback. Now he's coming down the line of scrimmage. He puts the defense and linebacker Ken Harvey in a bad position. 21, Travis Oliver. The corner doesn't even know this is happening until at the very last minute he turns around, comes back in. Hits Aikman at the shoe tops. Watch this shot right here. Now watch him. Whoop, there he goes. He did the 360. Holds on to the football. Lands on the side of his shoulder. He's okay. Back to live action. Aikman tries to pop off Craig. Open again at the 11 yard. Jeff Harden was there for Cal, along with Jeff Ebert. So Paco Craig doing a tremendous job, shaking free, and Aikman finds him and gets him the football. Having an outstanding game, Paco Craig, 5'10", 175-pounder, coming into today's ballgame, 13 catches, with two touchdowns, with 40 yards being his longest, but he's had an outstanding game today. Reggie Moore into the ballgame for UCLA, wide right. Anderson wide left. Green, the lone remaining back. 
Double tight in set. Belfort playing the three in on the right side. Gaston Green inside the 10, down at the 8-yard line. Steve Hendrickson in on the stop along with Jeff Ebert. Ebert playing a very active game from the secondary spot. His free safety position for the Bears comes up a lot on running plays. Does a good job of stuffing the run, filling the holes, and, and running everything wide. Heck of a job by Jeff Ebert. We talked about this Ronald Harbuckle being out. Eric Ball, by the way, who has that shoulder problem, has a suited up and could play if needed. Second and seven. Mel Farr, the ball carrier, he has a yard if that. Brought down by a trio of Golden Bears. Harvey got fooled on that last option. He wasn't fooled this time. Harvey, Hendrickson, David Ortega was also there. Well, realistically, Harvey didn't get fooled on the last play. The play before this on that option by Troy when he, when he made that long gainer. If you look at Terry Downey, who he's got that moany, groany look on his face. He's got that what? Moany, groany look? Moany, he wants to moan or he wants to groan. He's not sure what she wants to do. Flip pass behind Aikman. Rolling right. That is the first reception for a score for Gaston Green this season. His third touchdown of the ball game. We talked about this play earlier on. An incompletion from Lake from the Green. They come right back with the same play. Number 30, Steve Hendrickson is a linebacker assigned to Green. He can't stay with them. Green makes the catch, just jumps into the corner of the end zone. Touchdown, UCLA. Velasco. He has been perfect on PATs all season long, and he continues his perfect streak. That stops the clock with nine minutes and 12 seconds left in the game. The score, UCLA 42, Cal 18. We'll have more in just a moment. Want to remind you, the world champion Lakers take on Seattle to open the regular season on November 6th, and Prime Ticket will be on hand to bring you the game and presentation of the Lakers championship rings. So join us for the Lakers and Sonics November 6th. Yours truly will kick it off at 7.15 with Lakers tonight right here on Prime Ticket. Gaston Green, three touchdowns, another tremendous performance, leading UCLA to a 42-18 advantage over Cal with 9-12 left of the game. UCLA has had great balance between the rush and the pass this season, and in today's game, that continues. Rushing, they have 248 yards, passing 237, 485 total. From his own goal line, Darren Greer. And he gets out to the 23-yard line. On that last scoring drive, it took four plays, 61 yards, a minute 26. Aikman hitting Gaston Green, seven yards for the touchdown. Bruce Snyder try to turn things around at Cal, and eventually he will. Believe me, he is a fine coach. First and ten for the Cal Golden Bears at their own 23-yard line. Taylor drops it back to Cal. Gives it to Carter. Carter gets it all the way out to the 32-yard line. Well, it's about time now to have the California Golden Bears put that ball further upfield. Now go to their outside wide receivers, go to the tight end or the backs, but get that ball further than that 8 to 10 yard area in which they have been throwing it the last quarter and a half. They're behind now. They've got to, got to let all the uh, stops out and try to get something on the board, get a, get a good drive going and pick it up in big chunks. Rogers in at the tight end on the right side. Charles Carter gets the call and he gets up to the 35-yard line. 
ball came loose from Carter, but it came loose after he was down. No fumble. Rob Pimpson into the ball game for Cal. First down for the Golden Bears at their own 35-yard line, 42-18 in favor of UCLA. Eight and a half minutes to play in the football game. Taylor firing for Ryan Medford, but he had not turned around, and it was almost intercepted by James Washington. Medford still had his back to Taylor. Medford a little slow coming out of his break. Troy Taylor dropping back, pump face to his outside receiver to pull that corner off. Now he lays it out there. See, Bedford, he's not even looking. He's trying to get by the defender. Now, in all reality, and being honest with you, the quarterback's got to hold that ball a little bit longer until his receiver breaks into that open area. Almost picked off your right. If James Washington picks that off, he goes 60 for a score. Second and 10. Donald Nobles, the long remaining back. Three wideouts in the Cal formation. Late to Bedford, and he's out of bounds at the 45-yard line. That's going to be close. I don't know if he got up to the 45 yard line. That's going to be close to the first down. First down for Cal. The receiver's got to know where he's at. If he needs nine yards, he's got to run his route at 10 or 12. So if he comes back to the ball, he will still have enough for the first down. Catch so about Brian Bedford, 6'4, 210 pound senior flanker. We certainly hope you're enjoying this back 10 action. I'm Jeff Butcher, along with Jack Snow here on the Prime Ticket Network, 42 18 in favor of UCLA. A little over eight minutes to play. First and 10 Cal at their own 45 yard line. Clay Nicholas is wide left. UCLA leading 42-18. Second and 10 for Cal from the 45-yard line. Tyrone Moore on the reverse gives it to Bedford. Bedford goes out of bounds at the 43-yard line. And although UCLA didn't play it well, they weren't fooled yet. No, they weren't uh, good blockers provided by Troy Taylor, the quarterback. But that may be an expensive block. Vimson's trying to run a square in. Holding the call against UCLA. Number 50 is Cam King. He is the offensive left guard for the Golden Bears. Holding defense before the pass was thrown. Automatic first down. You know, we haven't mentioned the offensive linemen that much tonight for California, but let's be realistic. They have done a good job. There were many times as the quarterback has gone back to pass. A heck of a job. Tony Smith, Cam King, Brad Jackman, Dave Watson doing a heck of a job. First down for Cal at the UCLA 47-yard line. That's put in motion. Taylor completes the middle of the 10, and he is dropped inside the UCLA 20. 
Dennis Price made the tackle. A big 30-yard gainer. Taylor to the final step. Smith with 10 catches coming into the ball game, one touchdown. Runs a post route on Dennis Price. He's a little out move, comes back into the post. Look at that nice throw by the quarterback, Troy Taylor. Nice reception by Michael Smith. He beats, didn't get the number, but there's Michael Smith, the sophomore wide receiver out of Oakland, California. Good size, 6'1", 185. Calls on the UCLA 17, first and 10. Bedford goes in motion. Taylor, Taylor's going to run with it. from the eye, pulls him down at the 17 or 18 yard line. Taylor thought he was going to pick up about 15 yards on that. Once he broke into the secondary, saw Rowan Pfeiffer, he went the opposite way. He almost turned around and did a 180 running back away. Troy Taylor, 18 of 32, 312 yards, one TD, one interception. Outstanding numbers by the young quarterback. Second and ten from the 17. And Dennis scored incomplete. Marcus Turner covering for UCLA. Turner with good position, but I'll tell you, Ford should have made that catch. That ball was right on the money. Troy Taylor put that ball right in his hands. He's got to come up with that catch. Number two, Michael Ford, 6'2", 200 pounds, sophomore, good size, good speed, makes his break, comes to the sideline. There's that ball right there. He's looking down at the sideline, and that's why he did not make that reception. He got to watch that ball all the way until after you make the catch, then drop those feet down inside. Third and ten for Cal. The Bedford. Threw it too soon as Bedford just started to turn around. The ball hit him and he couldn't hold on to it. Just a lack of communication between that guy right there, Troy Taylor, and Ryan Bedford. Again, as we mentioned, Bedford, the leading receiver for the Bears coming into the ball game with 25 catches, three of them for touchdowns. They had just not been able to hook up tonight. Cal wants and gets a timeout. 6.02 left of the game. UCLA 42, Cal 18. Back after this. 6.02 left in this game, UCLA leading Cal, 42-18 with a 4th and 10 from the UCLA 17-yard line. one he should have had. Again, number two, Michael Ford. Troy Taylor rolling out to his right side. Ford, you see, just disappearing to the left side of the screen. He's coming back on a corner route. He's got six price beat. Price is in his face. He has the ball once, twice. He just can't hold on to it. The ball drops incomplete on fourth down. Brewers take over. Brendan McCracken now in at quarterback for UCLA. McCracken keeps the football gets back up close to the line of scrimmage. Ten of 21 for McCracken, 120 yards. Brendan McCracken, more of a option-type quarterback, great ball handler, comes down the line of scrimmage, dishes that ball off, and most of the time he makes the proper decision. Tailback, Brian Brown. Ron Sebelhar made the stop for Cal. Brian Brown coming into tonight's ball game. 29 carries for 149 yards. Again, himself, another good tailback, averaging 5.1 yards per carry. Brendan McCracken out of La Cañada, California, six feet tall, 203. Third and eight. 
Hunter out of the shotgun. Penalty <laughs> flag. There was players from both sides jumping. We'll have to see who jumped first. Well, California has had a couple of problems this season. One, injuries to key people. And that has also been all, all start offense tied in with their other problem of not having any depth. I mean, they lost their two starting wide receivers, James Devers and Vince Delgado, before the season began. Then they've had problems with the offensive line with Steve Anderson, the offensive guard, is hampered by a shoulder injury. And Brian Bedford missed some playing time with the shoulder problem. So, and we mentioned Chris Richards, their top running back. He's been hurt most of the season. It's a tough. Third and 13, the Kraken. Keeps the ball and he gets up to his 21 yard line. Ken Harvey on the stop for the California Golden Bears. Harold Parkade into the game to do the putting for UCLA. 42 18 in favor of the Bruins with 4 minutes and 11 seconds left in the game. is deep for Cal. Jones from his own 39-yard line. Gains a yard and then is down by Corwin Anthony. 40-yard putt, one-yard return. However, we have a penalty flag back at the 11-yard line, so hold everything. This was Parkett after the punts. If anybody rubs into him or hits him, his leg is extended. There's four bears around there. And I think, yeah, I think you're right that there's going to be a penalty call on Darren Greer, number 34, for running into the punter. Victory for the Bruins this evening. Again, number 34, Darren Greer will be coming in from the right side of the screen. The ball is kicked. The kicker, the punter, is exposed with that leg up in the air. He does a pretty good job of acting, but he does take a shot. One of those guys in there is 34, Darren Greer. Five-yard penalty for running into the kicker against the defense is refused. It'll be first down. So Brendan McCracken looking to the sideline and Terry Donahue was giving him the decline the penalty signal and that's just what they did. 4 one left in this football game, UCLA 42, Cal 18. I think we're going to have Brad Howe, the backup quarterback, coming in now for Cal. They got the play from the sideline, and they ran on the field as a unit, so they're ready to roll. Howe is a 6'4", 200-pound senior from Santa Barbara. Play action. Swings it off to four, and he picks up three yards, dropped by Randy Beverly and Ben Hummel. Bernie Rogers, that tight end, is now in there for California. Also, the backup tight end. There's Brad Howe, three of six for 43 yards. Hasn't played a whole lot this year for Cal, but uh, does a good job. Good, strong kid, 6'4", tall and lanky, like his Troy Taylor is. Gain of three, second and seven from the 43. A happy Gaston Green. His first 200-yard game of this season. And down goes Howe, Ben Hummel. Throw him to the turf. Hummel out of Rock Wall, Texas. 6'4", 230, senior. Ben Hummel, number 45, coming from his left outside linebacker position. Gets his fifth sack of the year, and he really nails Brad Howe. Takes him down with a chest shot. That's a two-point takedown immediately. Hummel, one of two SMU transfers. Big David Richards, the other. He started all 11 games for SMU last season. He was a down lineman. Third and 16 for Cal from their own 34-yard line. Now firing for Nicholas, the incomplete. Broken up by Marcus Turner 
Center of UCLA. Ray Nicholas, one of the backup wideouts from San Diego. He's a senior. He just has a couple of catches on the campaign. Another big wide receiver, though. Cal has uh, surprisingly the receivers are good size. Michael Smith is 6'1", 185. Nicholas is 6'2", 185. Taylor punched the ball. Henley from his own 25-yard line. Trying to get outside, and he is tripped up at the 47-yard line. A 40-yard punt from Tabor, a 27-yard return for Daryl Henley. Got a flag back here on the 35-yard line. Wait and see who the penalty is against. Derek Taylor of Cal says, Coach, it's against the Bruins. And he's right. Talking with Ortega, it's nice to see Ortega back in the lineup as you look at Coach Bruce Snyder. Ortega had gone out on a scramble. Snyder this year, of course, with a 1-4-1 record. He spent seven years as head coach at Utah State and compiled a 40-41. Since the receiving team, five yards, replay fourth down. Substitute infraction. Somebody either got on late or came off late for the uh, Bruins. We mentioned that Bruce Snyder spent the last four years as a running back coach for the Rams. That means that he worked very close with number 29 Eric Dickerson as Scott Tabor will punt the ball again. And it goes out of bounds inside the Bruins' 20-yard line, a 41-yard punt. Timeout here at the Rose Bowl, two minutes and 18 seconds left. UCLA leading big over Cal, 42 to 18. UCLA 42, Cal 18. The Bruins two minutes and 18 seconds away from their fourth win without a loss in the conference play. McCracken pitches to Brian Brown. A couple of Cal defenders across the 30 up to the 32-yard line. Eric Howard was one of them. 12 yards on the play. Talking about Brian Brown, don't be surprised you see him rip one off for long yards because he is an excellent runner. Mark Eastwood at fullback, Brown at tailback, out of the eye. is up to the 37-yard line. Well, the Brewers want to keep the ball on the ground right now. Cal has two timeouts left. I don't know if they will call any. Just let the clock run. The Bruins keep it on the ground, run that clock down, and uh, let Cal catch that early fight back to Berkeley. The reason I mentioned Snyder being the uh, coach of the Rams running backs and Eric Dickerson, Snyder paid a great compliment to Gaston Green earlier this week. I'll tell you about that in a moment. Second and four for the Bruins from their own 37-yard line. Pitch goes to Brown. All the way out to the 43-yard line. He compared Green favorably to Eric Dickerson, although Gaston is not nearly as big as Dickerson. Snyder said he sees some of the same explosiveness speed-wise and that when defenders over-pursue, they have that knack to cut it back against the grain. Well, you're looking at a couple of happy Bruins on the sideline, but to follow your thought, and rightfully so, which we will right after this play. Another first down for UCLA, but cracking on the option keeps it. Picks up good yardage all the way down to the 43-yard line of Cal. A 14-yard pickup for Brendan McCracken. When you compare the two, number one, Dickerson is 6'3", and about 220, 22 pounds. Jackson Green about 190 pounds, but the thing that the similarity is, number one, they're both extremely quick, and their feet very rarely leave the ground that high. Their feet are always floating right at, at, at the top of the grass so they can make that quick cut. Another first down, under 30 seconds to play. McCracken keeps it himself, gets it to the 40-yard line. That may very well be the last play of the ball game, Jeff. 
51,107, the official attendance here at the Rose Bowl. The crowd counting it down. There is the gun, and it's over. Terry Donahue congratulating Bruce Snyder as UCLA wins for the 16th consecutive time against Cal, but more importantly, remain undefeated and in sole possession of first place in the Pac-10. They're 4-0, and they're 6-1 overall, 42-18 in the final. We'll be back right after this.